like, share and subscribe the channel for more video regarding pharmacology. Local edicts. The local anesthetics are the agents which cause reversible loss of sensation at the place of application or administration. When local anesthetics are injected or applied topically in the target area, they block the transmission of pain sensation from the anesthetized area to the brain by blocking nerve conduction. The nerve impulse conduction is blocked by a reversible inhibition of action potential conduction by binding to the sodium channel and decreasing the nerve membrane permeability to sodium. Local anesthetics have a greater affinity for sodium channels of nerve fibers that are firing or in an active state. The sodium channels in open state are more susceptible to block than the closed ones. This causes a selective inhibition of nerve fibers that are stimulated by the surgical procedure. The block of local anesthetics is also dependent on nerve size. The small unmyelinated C and lightly myelinated a delta pain fibers, are more easily anesthetized than are large myelinated touch fibers. The ionization of local anesthetic is an important issue. Unionized form is required for passing through the neuronal membrane to act on sodium channels. And the cationic form is active at the receptor site. Clinical uses of local anesthetics. Local anesthetics are used topically or as an infiltration anesthesia. The topical application of local anesthetics is used to anesthetize the skin, mucous membranes or cornea. A local anesthetic can be applied to the skin to treat pruritus itching caused by poison ivy, insect bites, eczema, or cutaneous manifestations of systemic diseases such as chickenpox, varicella. A eutectic mixture of local anesthetics EMLA, used to anesthetize the skin before venipuncture or minor surgery. The topical application of a local anesthetic to mucous membranes can relieve pain caused by oral, nasal, laryngeal, or rectal disorders or surgery. For example, an anesthetic ointment is used to relieve the discomfort of hemorrhoids. The topical ocular administration of local anesthetics is used to anesthetize the cornea before diagnostic or surgical procedures such as the removal of foreign bodies and cataract surgery. Infiltration anesthesia. In infiltration anesthesia the anesthetic agent is directly injected into subcutaneous tissue just under the skin. Infiltration is used primarily for minor surgical procedures such as suturing a wound and dental procedures. Nerve block and field block anesthesia. Nerve block and field block anesthesia are forms of regional anesthesia. The goal of this type of anesthesia is to anesthetize an area of the body by blocking the conductivity of sensory nerves from that area. In nerve block anesthesia, a local anesthetic is injected into or adjacent to a peripheral nerve or nerve plexus. For example, a radial nerve block can be used to anesthetize the structures innervated by the radial nerve including portions of the forearm and hand. Intraorbital block is often used for ocular surgery. The field block anesthesia is produced by administration of a series of injections to form a wall of anesthesia encircling the operative field. Spinal intrathecal anesthesia Spinal anesthesia is used to block somatosensory and motor fibers during procedures such as surgery on the lower limb or pelvic structures. The local anesthetic is injected into the subarachnoid, intrathecal space below the level at which the spinal cord terminates. Epidural anesthesia. Epidural anesthesia is produced by injecting a local anesthetic into the lumbar or caudal epidural extradural space. A local anesthetic such as bupivacaine is often administered by this route to provide anesthesia during labor and delivery. Specific agents. Ester type local anesthetics. Cocaine. Cocaine is a naturally occurring plant alkaloid. It has both local anesthetic, vasoconstriction and CNS stimulant properties. Because of its CNS effects and potential for abuse, cocaine is seldom used as a local anesthetic. It is occasionally used to anesthetize the internal structures of the nose, where its vasoconstrictive action helps prevent bleeding after nasal surgery. A cocaine solution is applied to gauze and inserted into the nose for this purpose. 
Procaine Procaine is the first synthetic local anesthetic drug to be prepared after the discovery of cocaine, which became the standard of comparison for many years. Procaine and chloroprocaine have a low potency and a relatively short duration of action. They are not effective after topical administration and must be administered parenterally. They are metabolized to PABA and are more likely to cause allergic reactions than the amide type local anesthetics. Tetracaine. It has a longer duration of action than procaine. It is used for infiltration anesthesia. It is also available in a topical spray and gel formulation in combination with butambin, butyl aminobenzoate, and benzocaine in a preparation called cetacaine. Benzocaine. Benzocaine is frequently used as topical anesthetic. It is available in a number of non-prescription products for the treatment of sunburn, pruritus, and other skin conditions. Benzocaine is also used to anesthetize mucous membranes and is available in cough lozenges and sprays to relieve coughing. Amide-type local anesthetics. Lidocaine. Lidocaine produces local anesthesia after topical or parenteral administration. The most widely used local anesthetic. EMLA, a eutectic mixture of the local anesthetics lidocaine and prilocaine, is available as a cream to anesthetize intact skin to a depth of 5 mm. In pediatric patients, EMLA cream has been used for local anesthesia before venipuncture, intravenous cannulation, or circumcision. Lidocaine is also used for infiltration, nerve block, epidural, and spinal anesthesia. Lidocaine is also available as a transdermal patch approved for postherpetic neuralgia and widely used off-label for conditions such as vertebral fractures. Etidocaine. Etidocaine has properties similar to those of lidocaine, but its duration of action is considerably longer. It is primarily used for infiltration and nerve block anesthesia. Bupivacaine, mapivacaine, and ropivacaine have similar clinical uses but differ in their duration of action. Bupivacaine has been the most widely used local anesthetic for obstetric anesthesia, but it causes cardiac depression more frequently than do many other local anesthetics. Dibucaine is formulated in an ointment used to relieve the pain and itching of hemorrhoids, piles, and other problems in the rectal area. Adverse effects and interactions. The adverse effects of local anesthetics are primarily caused by their absorption into the systemic circulation. Local anesthetics often produce CNS stimulation, restlessness, tremor, and euphoria followed by inhibition, drowsiness and sedation. Other symptoms of local anesthetic toxicity include headache, paresthesias, and nausea. Adverse cardiovascular effects include hypotension and cardiac depression. Most local anesthetics have antiarrhythmic activity, but toxic levels of local anesthetics suppress cardiac conduction and can cause tachyrhythmia characterized by a wide QRS complex. Like, share and subscribe the channel for more video regarding pharmacology.